If you are subscribed to my channel, you've probably ended up here thanks to my video about long exposure photography with an iPhone. Well, here's an update to it. When I tap it, the text just jumps right out. Beautiful, glanceable information in just the right moments. iOS 15 is here, and I believe that by this point, we all have it. New iPhones are also here, but I really want to break out of my two-year upgrade cycle, so I'll be sticking with my 11 Pro for now. iOS 15 brought a lot of new stuff, but it also brought some useful but confusing redesigns. And if you've tried to create a long exposure photo with your iPhone recently, you noticed that things have moved around. Long exposure or slow shutter photography is when you keep your camera shutter open for longer so that the movement in your shot becomes blurry. Think light trails or perfectly still looking water or clouds that look like they're moving. iPhones can't do this physically, but that's what some software is for. Again, I have an entire video about this and I'll leave a link to it both above and below. One of the methods I covered in that video is creating a long exposure from a live photo. When live photos are on, your phone makes a one and a half second video every time you take a photo. These videos are captured at 15 frames per second. That is not enough frames per second for a decent video, but one and a half seconds times 15 FPS, that's like 22 individual frames, 22 individual photos. And that is plenty if you want to blend them together. And iPhones can do this automatically. It used to be, you take a photo, you swipe up on it, and you get a couple of effects to choose from, long exposure being one of them. But now, if you swipe up on a photo, you get an info window. This window has been a feature on macOS for some time, and I actually like it. Like, you can see your settings, your location, you can adjust the location, which is amazing, and you can also add a caption to a photo, and all these things were super difficult to do earlier, but how do you create long exposures now? Well, it is actually way quicker, like there's one step less, but it's also very easy to overlook. So, if you've taken a live photo, you'll see this thing in the top left corner above Above the photo saying live. Well, that's actually a drop down menu. So if you click on it, you'll get the same list of effects you used to get by swiping up on a photo. Long exposure is one of those effects. We click on it, and there it is. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you again next Wednesday.